Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I forgot to record an intro video for this particular video. Today is going to be foundation routine like the title said. If you want to see how I achieve this look, please keep watching. Do not forget to like, subscribe and comment. Thank you. I will start off by doing my base but because I already done my skincare routine, I literally do my makeup base like that because it's part of my skincare routine. But if you want to see a video of me doing my skincare routine, my morning time skincare routine, do let me know in the comment section. I would love to share. But I'm just going to run you through the important things I would do or I have to have one before makeup. I would moisturize my skin. I have this moisturizer. I use this moisturizer. This one is Moisture Potion from MS Metics Cosmetics. MS Metics. Let's just leave it like that. I'm also wearing sunscreen from ms Matic. this is the tester size <laughs> i took it from a friend but yes yeah, really nice and i moisturize and you know hydrate my face actually i drink my face with this rose water from the guno effect so after that i'm going to be going with my saron foundation in the shade fz20 i'm also going to be mixing that with this glow oil from Ewa Room Care Pro Cosmetics. I do like my skin. I don't I do not prime my face. I'm not against priming, but personally, I mean when I have clients, I do prime their faces. But personally, I don't prime my face because it doesn't really make a difference on my skin. I wear my makeup like six, seven, eight hours without priming and I don't get oily or whatnot because I do have dry skin. Okay? So uh, I'm going to be using this too, and I wear my makeup dewy. I do not like matte foundations or whatnot. I'm going to be using this foundation, just one form of that, and one form of this. So when I'm using it for foundation, I do not mix it with the glittery part below. I just use it like that. This foundation is slightly a tiny little, 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 little bit darker than me. And my actual shade, see, a tiny little bit, but that's how I like to wear my foundation because I can go a little bit crazy on my highlight. I don't want to be looking like one ghost that just, you know, was irritated. <laughs> so I'm just going to mix this together and I'm going to be applying this with my step blend brush. I think this one is from Nuban Beauty. I like my foundation very, very light. That's why I use this brush. So I like it to stay on really lightly. Just, see? Just do that. And it does. It does cover my I have like this tiny spot here and this. Hmm? Yeah, this one here. And as light as this foundation is, even after mixing it, it still covers my spot. I know this might not work with people that have like really textured skin and you know with the hush beauty concealer don't mind that i don't know what blue and beige is a full coverage concealer so i'm just going to take this brush and you know drag it down here I mixed it with my glow oil. Done that since I so that's how it is now. I just mixed a lot in it to the consistency that I like. So I'm actually going to not use the concealer again though. My points cannot waste. So I'm just going to do this. Like this. So and I'm going to leave that to set a bit you know, so, so it dries up a little bit so after that I'm going to be going in with my Elica Pro Coverage Concealer in the shade I don't know to contour my face just have a pump to do the job you know to put my face higher just because I can I used to do it lower before but I just decided that I think it looks better like this. So I'm just going to drag it a little bit sometimes. Because of my hairstyle, I'm wearing a ponytail hair and I just want my face to like look 
So I'm just going to do one line underneath my chin over here. Then I'm just going to do the sides of my nose, you know. I want to look snatched and all that. Darren lipstick in Zero to Luna as my liquid blush. Just put a little bit here. Brush. You guys are right, clown right now, but don't worry. I'm going to blend that out. So I'm just going to start from my forehead and make sure I blend it very close to my hairline so it gives this natural feel. Very, very close to my hairline. Like into my hair self. Just blend it close. If you feel like you have a lot on your brush, you can just tap it off. Same thing here, upwards. Feel like you have a lot on your brush. Tap, tap, tap. Come back. Blend. Blend this very close to the eyebrow. Very, very close to the brows. Blend. 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 Blend is my cardio. Blend. And I'm going to go back with my foundation brush to just, you know, I, the brush I used to apply my contour. I'm not putting a lot more. I'm just going to be cutting my contour here. And yeah. Drag it very close to my mouth. So, right now we're going to New Band Beauty flat brush. Very dense. And uh, just tap. So, see my hand, I just, when I'm blending and I feel like it's a little bit too much, I just tap it on my palm. I just do that, you know, blend the sides of my nose. So I blend the front all around my mouth, because I grow like a mustache here, and that's why I like to see so it doesn't look darker, especially when it's not shaved. So, just... That. Now that I don't really pay special attention to my nose like that, to be honest, just because I can't. And I'm done, I go in with my beauty blender and just press everything in very lightly. Okay, and I'm going very close to my eyes and just putting it on. This last to avoid creasing. Cool. My beach cosmetic powder in. I don't know what shade this is in because the thingy here has peeled. I'm just going to use that. It's so my exact shade, I know that for sure. Just going to tap it lightly under my eyes. Just very lightly. I like to do this before applying a setting powder. Just because I like the effect that it gives. Am I doing my beauty blender is damp? Not wet, just a bit damp. On days when I'm doing like a colored, like very colored eyeshadow that I know is going to fall off, I'll just put a little bit more, you know, just to catch the fall out. So I went offline to finish my eye look. And I just left my setting powder there and, you know, the last thing I showed you guys. My camera stopped recording now, you know. So right now I'm just going to take my BH Cosmetic Powder uh, in my exact shade and just dust off 
the excesses in my setting powder. So I'm dusting and pressing. Do that here too. And Zaron powder in the shade double Z35. And I'm going to use this as my bronzer to just sweep my face through. this blush I don't know the name I've just had it for a very long time and it does the job for me but I know that Zaron has a blush in this shade called mud fest so I'm just going to take this dust off the excess and sweep my face with it I'm going to take my blush into my forehead and just press it like you know so after I done did that, I'm just going to go in with my Uno Effect Rose Water Spray and bake my face in it. So we are ready to step up to the club. I'm not going anywhere, you guys. I'm just going to be in my house. Well, look at that highlighter. God, just look at that. So you guys, this is just a wig that I popped onto my hair that I already packed into a ponytail. If you want to see a video on how I do my ponytail at home, just let me know. Anything you want to see from me, let me know in the comment section down below. 